Hello Cameroon and you're welcome to the South Region. Are you a consumer of farm crops or what we locally call in Cameroon force? In the South Region, it is a delicacy and people eat it a lot. But more and more is getting scarce. So what can we do to always have these on our tables? That's why I want you to come with me. Let's discover a group of young men who are involved in the production of us. Stay tuned. Chungi started this palm grub farm in 2012 with six boxes, partly decomposed raffia stems, and a male and female grub, or what we locally call force. I grew up knowing that each day we wish to consume force, we have to go to the forest. I later on discovered that after each harvest, the raffia waste was usually abandoned in the forest. On our return, we find the forest larvae on it. So I decided to start bringing the raffia waste to the village and after some days we have mature force. That is how I started looking for the adults to start my force farm. Five years later, he has over 85 boxes and his farm has attracted scientists, students as well as locals who have come to learn to grow for us domestically without affecting the ecosystem. The first step is to identify the male and female force. Once identified, I put three couples in a box and add a raffia stem which happens to be their only food. Each week, we keep adding just the raffia stem, no water or any other thing. After 24 days, we have our mature foods ready for the market. I meet with youth every week to train them on the importance of domestication of force. They do learn fast. I tell them there's no need for us to go back to the forest. I gain more time and money than those who go to the forest. This is Kid. He has come all the way from Gabon just to learn the domestication of first production. Uh, my name is uh, Kid, Kid Lekogo. I come from Gabon. I'm here, it's been um, two weeks already that I'm here to learn the way the, uh, they're producing, uh, the, I mean, in French, they love the Charançon. Ch Charançon, right, yeah. So I'm here to learn. And it, um, the purpose is like, I mean, I want to go back to my country not to, to, to show everybody what I've been doing here, what I was doing here. In, 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 and then after that, to learn, I mean, to show them how we can, I mean, save our forest, you know, our forest, you know, uh, because what I've been, what I've, uh, we, everybody have been attached is like, uh, the forest is being destroyed because of the, the produce, I mean, the, by producing um, the, the, the Charançon. So, I mean, the lift, the lift is the, uh, the living force uh, for tr uh, trust, trust, yeah. They find a way to, um, to reduce the, the destruction of the, 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 the forest. After 21 days of putting the male and female palm grub together and ensuring they are well fed, Chungi has healthy palm grubs at the end of the day, which he sells to his customers across Cameroon. La production normale, euh, janvier, février, mars, je produis 140. Production is at its peak during February and March, and it drops in November. I sell by the road as well as supplying large quantities to my customers in Yaoundé. Pour le moment, j'essaie de créer les marchés. J'arrive à Yaoundé. Comme maintenant, I am trying to create a market for myself and people. Do appreciate my force a lot. Au marché Mvombi, il y a les clientes là-bas. Je vends mon force ici en route.
je me retrouve déjà aujourd'hui qui a déjà la production de force pour le développement du pays. Force production can also contribute to the development of Cameroon. I see how our children here are involved in force production during the holidays and at the beginning of a school year they are capable of paying their school fees. These insects, which are rich in essential nutrients as well as minerals and vitamins, are very important for our health. Its domestication has proven to be more productive and sustainable. <laughs>